Hi, I'm Kurt Smith, and welcome to App Talks, a series of conversations with Salesforce customers on how using business apps from the App Exchange can help you manage all aspects of your business. I'm here today with Craig Eider from Thomson Reuters to talk about how Thomson Reuters is using Salesforce and app to cpq to transform their sales process. Welcome to AppTalks, Craig. Yeah, thank you, Kurt. So, you know, you've selected Aptis, and now you have to start the implementation. Can you tell me how you guys started that process? Yeah, our implementation process, we basically had two phases. And the first was an early adopter program, and the second was full launch. So from an early adopter program, what we wanted to do before the full launch for 1,200 sellers, right, a subset of our 4,400 users, right, because we're bringing this app to CPQ solution to the rest of them literally right now as we speak. But we didn't just want to have a, a big bang, if you will, at launch. So our early adopter program was critical. And what it proved to us was that three months before the full launch, we had 40 sales reps using app to CPQ in the marketplace. So they were pulling down products, they were dynamically assembling bundles, they were pricing them properly, they were putting in the right contract terms and conditions, and clients were indeed electronically signing them and sending them back to us. So we proved that the system worked all the way through contract and order acceptance. So that process really gave us confidence that when we rolled it out, to all 1,200 sellers that it was work. So that's the first thing that we did. The second thing that we did that I think was really important was we had those early adopter sales reps, those 40 sales reps, part of our entire uh, design, build, and implementation process from day one. So they were at the table with us while we were designing workflows, while we were, had technical people in the room talking about how we would build them, and then every two weeks, we would have a sprint because we did this project in an agile-like methodology. And the, the conclusion of a sprint is actually the technical people play back the workflows. And so we had sales reps in the room observing and speaking into the processes that they were seeing. And they gave us feedback that we then built into both the early adopter final product and then the final product that was launched to all 1,200 sellers. That's awesome. And that, that obviously made a huge difference having the end users there in that whole process. So they're part of that process. How did they also help you then roll it out and how did you roll it out? Yeah, so we rolled out for the full 1,200 people with a couple of key concepts. One was we actually had, um, we designed and built learning modules bef so that between the early adopter launch and our full launch, we had all 1,200 sales reps go through and actually pull down products, dynamically assemble bundles, price them, put the right contract terms and conditions in, and then send it to clients. And so we knew that every sales rep could do that because we had them certify it through an online learning module. And that was, uh, that was really important so that when we launched it, we weren't training how to use the tool. We knew they already did, and so we designed some exercises that were fun and gamified that allowed us to kind of like build some momentum and enthusiasm and not really train on the basic keystrokes because that keystroke training happened between early adopter and full launch. So what was the impact that you saw on your business? Yeah, so in the first four to five months, we've seen tremendous feedback and I'll just talk about two main areas. The first one is from customers. So with the first 1,200 customers that purchased our products and services through Aptus CPQ, we did an ad hoc customer experience survey. And so we asked them basically, how easy are we to do business with? The results from that survey were outstanding. And, and here's an example. So we do customer experience surveys regularly. And so we know our legacy net promoter score like responses. On a one to 10 scale, they're the nines and tens. We know what that is. For these first 1,200 customers, that net promoter score dark green, the nines and tens, was three times higher than our legacy. Wow. So our customers responded overwhelmingly positive in terms of being able to contract and do business with us this way. From our sales professionals perspective, the feedback we got uh, unsolicited were quotes to our sales ops folks. And they were basically, I love order capture. You know, and somebody actually screamed that into their phone driving down the road. <laughs> and so we took that quote. Another direct quote is, you're saving me at least two hours per week with that with this new order capture solution. And so the, 
the, the feedback from our customers and from our sales professionals was really overwhelming. So the two hours a week is really interesting because it doesn't seem like it's a huge amount, but when you go ahead and gameplay it all the way out, it's a lot. Has that helped salespeople even close business faster because they have more time? Yeah, great point, Kurt, because we've heard several things, um, including I'm able to sit down with the client, have a conversation, understand their needs, and then dynamically assemble the bundle in their office, face-to-face -face in the conversation, and send that quote and proposal to the client, and they, real-time, pull down their email, and they send their signature back to me. And so we've gotten real-time feedback from sales reps that they've done one call closes, and that's just, it's overwhelming. That's fantastic. Can you give me a couple metrics, just some numbers on, on, on the impact? Yeah, with Aptus CPQ, we've seen dramatic results. We've seen 70% fewer held orders, which obviously helps sales reps and customers. We've seen 55% fewer exceptions. And wow. an exception is when a sales rep has to ask for pricing or product configuration that's outside the norm. So 55% fewer exceptions means speed to market and accuracy. And we've also seen a 50% reduction in our sellable products. So we know that we're simplifying the business in meaningful ways.